another vlog and my voice is finished and i'll explain why but you know bear with me i wanted to introduce this vlog properly and be able to talk to you guys if you're new to my channel thank you so much for clicking on this video make sure that you like this video make sure that you comment down below make sure that you share it turn on those notification bell and subscribe the most important thing subscribe to the channel this video is I guess a little bit messed up because I honestly assumed that I'd have time in the morning to kind of introduce the vlog and to talk to you guys throughout the day but it was supposed to be a day in the life video and not necessarily taking like more than one day I'm still not quite sure if it's not just going to be a day in the life video we'll see but the way things are looking I have a bunch of montages because in the morning I didn't actually get to talk to you guys and this is like right now it's almost after, it's after lunch and this is the only time i'm introducing it so we, i don't know maybe i might talk to you guys when i get home or something but i just really had a busy day i had lessons in the morning i had to prepare for legal clinic duty today i had to there was just a, a, a lot going on a lot going on so your girl didn't just quite manage to sit down and talk to you guys and update you guys and as y'all can tell my voice is gone because you're probably wondering i was invited to a slumber birthday party this weekend and i did actually record a little bit and i'm guessing there's the moment in which i do the old famous thing that every youtuber does insert clips so love, so love, so love, so love. explains why my voice sounds the way that it does guys like oh can i make a hype man so if there's monate i'm there screaming so that everybody else can have fun it's just who i am it's i've accepted that it's my fate in life so every time i'm invited out my voice is always like this so it is what it is today i have to 
well right now i have to get dressed in like legal attire like actual formal lawyer stuff and go interview clients at the legal clinic i am literally so excited like i, I ah, you guys have no idea like and all my friends already did that duty so it's like i'm the only one who's left and i've been seeing each and every one of them going but at the same time being terrified so i'm about to get dressed hopefully i'll insert some clips and show you guys what i look like show you guys the outfit that i brought we're not it's not mandatory to dress in a white and black the way we usually dress when we're going to court or anything like that but i am dressed in white and black i just wanted to get stuff so that when i do do mood court next year i don't have to go ahead and look for another wardrobe and stuff like that you know like obviously i'm not gonna be able to show you guys what i'll be doing because customer client um confidentiality is very important in my professions i thought like what better day to show you guys what happens in the life of a law student than today when i actually have like lawyer duties to do when i actually have like tests and classes and stuff like that so it, it could give an insight to any other kid out there who's trying to get into the legal profession especially in Botswana to see what this is what it's like once you reach fourth year this is the things that you do it's very upbeat it's very it's a beautiful profession but it's, it's it demands a lot i guess i'll see you guys when i'm done so i don't get late bye Good morning, you guys. Um, like, as y'all can tell, I had a very good night of sleep. You know that sleep when you wake up and just everything is... What happened yesterday was, kind of last I talked to you guys was before I got dressed. And I bet you guys saw how good I looked. I was so excited. I went to the legal clinic. <clears throat> I went to the legal clinic so very ready to speak to clients you know to interview them and do all these things and then i get there and there was only one client literally one client so we only got to interview one person and i wasn't even filling out the interview sheet because i just assumed okay no she'll start and then i'll do the next client only one and like literally 30 minutes after we were there like the coordinators and everybody just told us sorry y'all better just leave because there's nothing else for you guys to be sticking around for which is which is sad you know i mean obviously i was nervous to talk to all these people and all that but i was also excited you know because like i was going to actually do law stuff and get a glimpse of what my career is going to be like in the long run which i didn't actually get to have because so that's sad but it is what it is at the end of the day and then i came home i was gonna update you guys when i got home and like actually talk to you guys because i haven't talked to you guys all day but i was so tired i was, like i couldn't even like <laughs> kind of was so sleepy <laughs> I ended up going to force myself to go and warm up my food. I had rice and chicken with green beans yesterday. And then I just came into the room literally minutes after I ate. And then I went to bed. I slept. Like I was seven. And I only woke up at... Okay, I woke up at five just because my body naturally will wake me up. Because that's usually when I wake up every morning. Even on the days where I don't have a 7 a.m. lesson because that's when I go to gym. Our gender class was cancelled and then our public international law class is online, meaning I don't have to go to school. Also meaning that I'm not going to go to school and go to gym. And then I also today have like some assignments to do. I have to write my Law of Business Associations assignment and then also study for jurisprudence, which I'm writing tomorrow, which is going to be difficult to do because I've been trying to study it. And for some reason, I think the content rough guys my love i was just thinking about it like honestly like teaching courses are so necessary even for lecturers i understand that you're an intellectual and you know the subject matter you've studied it to phd level but like they need to be like some l lessons in teaching because it is bad some lecturers are literally terrible teachers but because they have that uh, intellectual um capacity or they are learned people they just expect it to know how to teach which is not always the case and some of us are suffering ish guys there's lecturers who are so bad like in my whole 12 years of government school i've never met a teacher who was that bad oh but it is what it is like so that's what i have to do today and then I also have to clean my room because my room is a mess and it's been a mess for a minute now because I haven't had time. I've had just stuff going on. So I have to clean my room. And like, I don't know if y'all can show you guys. Y'all see? 
you will see where like my my, my um, film setup was all of my paintings fell literally all of them they fell hella one by one <laughs> because i put them up with double-sided tape apparently that's not strong enough so i need to figure out a way to put them back up i'm gonna just use glue or something because put them up so that i can film content because there's a video that i was supposed to post this week that i'm not gonna post but it needed me to be on the setup that's why i believe like this week which you guys are probably gonna see this video in like weeks after but this week there's not gonna be a youtube video i'm trying not to feel guilty about it but it is what it is i am writing tests hyper and assignments and all that and you guys you guys will have to understand guys as much as i love you guys education number one you know so i don't have time to edit anything at all but i am filming content at least so that when i'm on my midterm week break i can film content while simultaneously i'm feeling a little guilty and then uh, is it gonna stop you know what i'm just gonna talk regardless of what's going on outside i was feeling a little guilty by making this vlog as short as it's gonna be but i feel like i'm gonna stick to my word and it's going to be a day in the life and that's it it's gonna end there thank you so so much for watching this video from the start to finish even though it didn't quite go according to plan and i didn't actually get to interact with you guys personally but i thank you so so much for staying and watching till the very end i appreciate it so much don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like comment down below